The Blazer should be going out, but GTN, okay, he does get out of the site. They're all gonna play the post from outside what? of the site here, Riv. You call the Trailblazers, they're going back in to suss everything out, but where's the side of Secret oh, here? Stun. They're coming out, one kill over to Hay Bales. Dubstep picks up the first one of the round, and now four members outside of the front. It's gonna be known by Secret as they do, they flank in, you call it. Back and forth trades as we're still in the eyes of Sadak. He could be the one to keep the pressure on, but the defuse is going down, he's pushed back too far. Three for Dubstep in the Ross the map. They're trying to feel out what might be the oh. play from the side of... Three crosshairs right where he was, and GTN... He's Ooh, got to answer. There's a lot of pressure towards Long C here, Riv. ...right now, so they're not getting a full rush, and the team has time to react from Secret, but Sutekas coming up. A main finds the Sniffer and Dubstep. That's some good info for Dispenser, and a beautiful pickoff as well. That at least equalizes things. Jesse Vashi's all alone in this A site. I love a bit of that teamwork that Team Secret shows on their forces. Oh, catches them. Pulling out the dismiss, actually the Nebula. Sutekas so goes oh. down, Saucy trades back, however, and they're gonna have the site. The retake coming from two sides on this crit. Post, oh man, look at Saucy, he, he's not looking at all, Riv. One enemy You're remaining. Oh, uh, just right in the back. Just thinking that flank would not be there at this portion of the round. It's a, it's a difficult call to make, but it's just like a penalty shot. You have to choose, you have to look. Dispenser is gonna know. The GTN is behind near that late as everyone slowed down from that very early breach util, but Dubs He's good for it. He's, he's holding his ground, Riv. He wants more. He does dash away, but towards this A main. I think they're gonna want to go wits. He's in a pretty prime position. If this is a one and done, this is gonna be brutal for Team Secret. He just gets taken out. No kills, no damage. I almost feel like he didn't need to do that. You have Borkum pushed all the way up. You know it could be the mid or A hit, but he puts himself to the frying pan. And now it's the 4v3 as the site taken by Vikings. Has to deal with the lockdown coming in from Dispenser. Dispenser falls and so does the lockdown there. Yeah, dubstep, he's so low, he's got to be patient, Borkum, he's on the move, Sudacast, he looks like he knows, oh, the, the shoulder just barely shows Borkum, he saw him. Slowly pushing in, oh, kind of stuck under hell, stuck up top, Rolling Thunder comes through, Sadak with a great frag as Borkum's now on the short side. 3v1, he's not going to be able to do it, there's the first round for Vikings, Sadak comes, he knows, <laughs> he felt the wind change. And it's oh. enough to get the shot on to, to follow up as well. And this is just going to be a C left. split. It's coming down to 30 seconds. Vikings, they've got to commit here. Alarm bot. alarm bot to window. They're going to force themselves through with three, but that's a very low FRZ. He can oh. be the first to fall, and he's not. He goes with a trio that Dispenser finds out of the garage hallway to take us. Save this Phantom. It looks like he will be able to. None of the team's secret members are in this area. To also get an operator oh. on their side. We saw what that meant to GTN in previous maps. Is Dubstep working oh it down, my. and they might just get that operator, Christine. Jeez, Sodok, he gets two. But why would there be three? Why would there be three? There <laughs> is, and he gets the third. The Seeker's just in time, so they make sure it's clear. And Vikings just clean up sewers right now to take three in the site. Duelist? What do you mean, Duelist? Map Borkum. He's already, he's already leaving. But Dispenser, enemy remaining. He's got the checkmate piece already in action. Oh Dispenser, he's about to get pinched here, Riv. It, Christine, I think this is why we can, we come to the conclusion at the end of the. Oh, he didn't get. Spotted. Jesse Vash shot that. Oh, oh. Well, he does get one. Spot Comes down. up with one. A little bit of the trickery he does come into play, but the bot and garage is still active in this situation due to the distance. Oh. The turret draws the attention, and Dispenser makes his little 2v1 situation play in his favor. Oh my word. Rock the house, the rolling thunder comes through, and that's going to shut down Vikings. That's moving 20 oh. seconds. Poor part of this is just going to be them dazed. Breach ultimate already expended. Borkum being so disciplined. And Vikings, they don't know what to do, Riv. Ten seconds they they got to back up. Ten seconds. They're not going to be able to get the spike plant. This is a save. Uh, wits? Christine, Wits on this, just throwing Ooh. fault lines out of B, yeah. or his all, he's like, I'll protect. Back to GTN. Yeah, the patience here, this crossfire, Jesse Vash, he's got to get first. Dubstep, yeah. beautiful recovery there. And two to trade. Ooh. Them being over each Start other's down shoulder down has been so incredible. So I'm putting three members for Sudokos to take care of. Oh, oh, close. Too many peaks at the end. Uh, tall task here for Sadok. Ultimate's there, but it doesn't look like he's going to be using that one as the jump peak comes through for Dubstep. They look to solidify this round and bring it to 6-2. to two. Just how much damage can Sadok do? Yeah, yeah he gets taken out. Dubstep. Look at Dubstep. Oh my god! A burst right out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is a complete change. 
They put Dispenser on A, and now everything comes out of Garage oh for Team Secret. What a play, especially after the timeout to have Vikings think, oh, we're going to deal with KJ Utility here. That's what we've seen. Not at all. Pie to the face from Dubstep's 3K. Oh, my God. Dubstep, you madman. Utility can still be alive at A. His rotations and the use of that KJ Util has been spectacular oh. for Team Secret. Still the attempt to be. Here's Borkum, the push from Long C doesn't come into play this time. 30 seconds left. Borkum. Oh, Sasa, he can make it to C. Great Trevor. Two versus one. Got yeah. one. With all oh, the pre-take, it's gonna come through for Team Secret. Oh, beautiful shot for Saucy to make it a one. On Team Secret side to get that advantage. Oh, it, it, they've got to win either this A main fight or this mid fight, right? FRZ, that's a beautiful start. Oh, they're using everything early, but look at Dubstep. Oh. down. How's he live? Gets that. Uh, there's a back and forth. You called the A main hit. It was working for Vikings, but then it's Secret just absorbing it. They back up. Beautiful response as Witz was there with the flash. Now Saucy sees one as the Trailblazer comes through, knows to it. Patient outside A main. The re hit is sure to come. Fault line. Beautiful. You're supposed to send a little oh. bit more. And with that, we've seen this. It's a textbook sewer strat to get into the A site. Witz still alive, holding it down. And now he plays the cat and mouse game. Big shot from Sutekas. It's come down to a one versus one. Sutekas, he just fakes the plant and he, I love it. he's going aggressive. 30 seconds left. Ooh. Has been taken out. It's a 5v5, and it looks like this A hit is coming. Back up and help. Vikings now moving their way in. This should be a good one with the utility that they use. Flashes come through, and does the rest of Wits and team try to get in that early? Sadak was waiting. This is one of the times that they had somebody looking for audio cues and still gets taken down. Yeah, three versus three. Vikings, this... Probably the strongest post we've seen them in so far in the last round of this half. Sudokas, you've got to be good for this. This being one of the closest maps between these two as well. So I'm expecting Vikings to come out with a very strong second half. Wits, however, takes one down. Saucy answers back on the Wits. Now it's up to Dispenser. He fires one, but Borkum comes in from the side. That's going to be the defuse coming in for Team Secret. Oh, little tags. They know now. Oh. <laughs> oh my! Just said it. We're here in dubstep again. Borkum now takes Sassy down and to take us shots that matter here as they just buy some time. Oh my God! The wherewithal to turn around and get a huge frag onto Borkum. That was the call coming in from Sadak. He said, "Wait, turn around, turn around." Big play, 3v2 now. And Sudakas, he's got a smoke still left. Enemy remaining, but oh. he gets taken out. Jesse Vash. Perfect timing to swing out. Sadak, it's all down to him. One versus three. And AKJP. <laughs> Sadak there with one. Do a little bit of damage. Go off, Sadak. And all the breach utility just adding a lot of pain to this one. Not going to be able to do much as Witch drops him down the first round for Team Secret Christine. Nobody's second guessing angles, and they're just dropping their opponent on the side of Team Vikings. A lot of pings over to the right side of A, but it's going to be B here. Is Team Secret looks for a quick hit. Yeah, definitely not shy at all. Oh Team boy. Secret, oh, but they're not looking. Sudokas, he gets so much damage. His teammate in Saucy shows up right in the nick of time as well. Dispenser, he does get the A main push, and Sudokas is very low. Spike will be down, and Dispenser, he's got to get it. Huge. Vikings want the buy, and they lose two more. This round's gonna fold over to so many more, Christine, with it being the buy force from Vikings. Oh no, Dispenser, however, going down would definitely mean a smile on the face of Vikings. This is such a pivotal round for both teams. Dispenser being so patient. Oh, this timing is gonna hurt. Was there a tip of a gun there? Oh There's my a tip god! Of a gun. 14 HP. <laughs> Dispenser goes down. Vikings win their. So they need to have those layers in mind. Jesse Vash will see if he's got the shock darts ready for it, but it looks like it's going to be an A hit here. VKS rotating back over as the hit is already happening. Like you said, Dubstep is in. Oh, he's going to have the back of GTN immediately as FRZ goes down to Dispenser. Just so fast in their execution. One of those aftershocks hits. He gets out of the way. Quite a bit of damage there, and they almost had the second one tick off in time. But five members stand tall. Oh, my word. Dubstep. They're just adding the pressure to drop the weapons and get the mental game in their favor at this point.
Yeah, Dubstep definitely did not want to <laughs> let that Kildred <laughs> ultimate go off. He took one for the team. He go he goes down, but... It just seems like all of these plays are so red like a book of how they're being defended. GTN starts this one off, however, with one. And that's not going to save anybody. Dubstep comes through once again. Oh, he knows he's up top. Is it Should allow these A defenders to feel confident to stay and maintain at A. You are divided. So Tegas wants to push this. Oh, it's just they another see corner. <sighs> Clean up. None of those situations seem to be going in favor of VKS at all this first map of the series. And we see T Seek or Team Secret now inside A. Oh, GTN, the timing. Big. Huge one. Wits goes down. He's been one of the ones to snuff out the retakes. Viking has tried to play with his breach utility. It is going to be the Jet and the Killjoy to get back into sight, though. See how they can play this from the side of Vikings. Yeah, and look at Team Secret. They oh. already know. Oh, yeah, there it is. Side out coming up with two big. One of our first C rounds. Seems like C has had a, a lock on the both doors. There it is. Oh, oh the, the invulnerability from the Astro Orb. Beautifully played for Jesse Bash. And Saucy, he's got the breach hold off. Farzi can get himself into a good spot here. Dispenser plays it slowly, as that could be a 1v1 that really tells the round. Dispenser takes down FRZ. The flanks for Vikings just haven't been working. They haven't, and Vikings at this point, they've got to be real careful because they can no longer win the round, but they've got to survive, Riv. They are broke. And GTN, he's... Oh, he just gets spammed with... Wow. The fact that... The fact that Jesse Vash finds that tag with the drone, that initiates things, right? The go button was absolute. He's only got a sheriff, though. Oh, no, oh, the timing! Ooh. Oh, coming in for Team Secret. GTN, he's got a good l l line of sight here, but... Oh, and FRZ, they didn't move. Vikings, they did not bite at all. Ultimate misses. I'm pretty sure that missed. FRC stays alive. That's a huge frag with the sheriff. They're going to answer right back as the thunder rolls from both sides of the map. And oh, he's trying to get out. Realizes he's staring right in the face of Wits. Oh my word. Spike will go down. Riv Sadok. He's close though. Short A. This timing might throw off Team Secret a little bit because the flank is fast. Nah, Jesse Vash. He's aware. Team Secret looking to grab it. Jesse Vash. RZ. He's so aggressive. Oh, instantly sorting themselves on the site. High elevation, low elevation for Vikings. They should have all the views they need to make the shots indeed. And now it is going to be just a wall going down. So you can't get this cheeky plan up top. And they have another way to get back in. Sadak looks to protect that wall as it's now the retake. Dubstep on one, on two, almost the third flick over towards 410. But it's going to be the rest of the team coming up big. All oh, the distraction from a bit of that rain. And it's not going to stop Dispenser or Jesse Vash. Sudakas, though, the entire time he's been on the flank, stage wall goes down. But take a look at him. Oh, bye bye. He does get him. It's a 1v1. Jesse Vash. Oh, oh Sudakas, he's so slippery, Riv. The, the noise he made was metal. The, uh, the wall didn't make noise, so they think he jumped back. All oh, the mind games from Tutankas beautifully played. And he of B is what Vikings wants. They still stay towards that A, towards mid, and Wits starts it off big. So bold. Just move past that Viper and Dust if he finds one, but he's just immediately traded out. The lurk again. Zutekas has so much potential on this round, and he gets taken down by Dispenser at the last moment. <laughs> Dispenser was so ready for that late lurk Ooh. coming around this time. Wits, he's got a pretty good off angle. He's going to wait for his teammates to kind of catch up with him to get this retake going. FRZ, he wants a duel. Crushing into sight. Sassi in a nice off angle just on the plant spot. <laughs> they are kind of cordoned off in this back area, Potter. It could be tough for them to hold. <laughs> Yeah, but oh my god, they're doing it all down to Borkum one versus two. He's healthy, but he's surrounded. Oh my word. The flick? No, he just is able to get it towards the top side. Touch the spike again, make him peek. Does he hold it? Does he hold it? The pressure shot has to come in now. FRZ worrying about it. Oh, he steps off at the last moment. The mind game thing. Blades and repeat, Vikings, they're not slowing down, Riv. They're in the A site already. Replicating the same strat once again. Power in numbers. Viking goes forward with their members. Toxic screens and smoke blocking all the vision right now. So it's going to be the snap judgment that comes out and dubstep gets the first one. Under, under Fury up the gut after getting one of those tags. They're going to see if they can make anything work. So they know screens is clear. Enough pressure to push in and get the spike planted. The dispenser drops and he gets taken down immediately. 
GTN felt like somebody was in his personal bubble. Does get punished for making a really bold push. Borkum, he's still got his Q smoke. That should come in handy with this spike defuse. No flinkers. It's all down to three. Oh. We're getting setting up setting up the chance to defuse. You don't know what oh. angle he's defusing at or trying to fake it. Wait Not enough gas though. It's recharging back up. They're not going to have it. No, Sutegas comes up big. Oh, this is so tense. Just right on the other side of things. Wits finds a timing, but just that classic. It's not his friend in that moment. Does Sip does yeah. respond with the knives, though. Does he give the gun over to his friend, Riv? That's a great question. <laughs> it's like, I have these. You take it. Oh, dispenser. Down B. Constantly. One, two oh. frags coming out. Saucy's able to find him with a shock bolt. Or the, yeah, the shock dart, rather. And now, did they push out? They know they have the spike down, really. So, actually, Jesse's still gaining ground to make oh, sure I that they this. have a better angle on it. Just so... So good. You're right, Riv. I mean, this just creates a brand new crossfire for these left. two. Noise cues. Dubstep has a good idea. And Jesse Vash, look at the aim. He doesn't have to worry about his back at all. He finds the first contact and good ping pong for wow. Team Secret. What a reaction. Coming out from these guys. Coming through. And Dubstep is doing a pretty decent job. Nice reactions to hold down that B main, but he gets taken out by GTN. A lot of alts up right now. And so take us timing. playing the timing once again. If that's a Vandal grab, that is a reset a bit here. 3v2 as the ultimate now goes down, and they're going to be able to cro encroach onto site here. Wall was already used for mid by Sadok, so they're not going to have that protection for plant. Dispenser, he's gonna come right back, rinse and repeat, back to oh yellow. He was good for two last time. He has their backs. Yeah, this one, oh my goodness. Oh! One for one. Wits now on the other side, the 2v2. Ultimate's up there. Sadak does not have heal to deliver to anybody or himself just yet. And no sonar is up. They're gonna have to walk straight into this one and hope they have the upper hand on the near-sighted gas. Sutekas just gets around the corner. He's gonna see oh one which does grab Sadak. The defuse starts, but Sutekas has an idea of where to find a 1v1 after this plant, and it's behind yellow from Wits. Yeah, this reaction, this is the only place he can go. He should be able to get the spike down though, and depending on this timing, maybe, but oh, oh just too strong. Wits with the slow flank. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Give me my away the time. It's ticking away, Riv. They all drop at the same time. I wonder if they're playing an audio trick there, but they were up top. I like the idea to not check belt thinking, yeah, hey, Dubstep could have an op here, and they drop it immediately. Huge frag from FRC as Jesse Bash answers just before. Dispenser with a little retrib retribution for his teammate. And now it's the maze. Who can come out on top of this one? Dispenser, 6 HP as he reloads the Vandal. Sada, as well as Sassy in a very good spot here for the end of it. Up to Borkum as he rotates over from the site by himself. In the 2v1. All the bullets are just not on Borkum's side right now. He has no idea the Sova scale. He oh! left, but the readjustment! Saucy so low! No Borkum. way! This, they're broke. This is certainly yeah, a scrappy buy. Call. But you know, Riv, these scrappy rounds have been pretty much almost <laughs> the closest run, we've seen. So Vikings, they're going to feel pretty comfortable with... He's not. He's going to go and back out. You're right, Christine. These, these, these half eyes are a little more rapid than we're seeing the full gun rounds. Just clawing their eyes out. Oh, the Viper's down, Bite hey, is what geez. comes up with the frag. Asada gets taken down from the uh, the orb before he takes the full amount of damage. Dispenser, he's flanking again. The pinch is coming Wait. through. The spike, it should go down, spike but Wits. Oh, he doesn't get away. That's a trade. No charge. Oh, I was thinking this is where the Spectres could do damage if they can keep the close Jeez. angles, but it is not. What a forward momentum position there you're going to see from Dubstep. He gets shot down right away, so Vikings knows. All right, maybe they start pushing us more. Let's play off this. Dispenser. Slowly walking in. Dispenser. Every time the lurk he can read is absolutely ridiculous. The timing and everything from Dispenser starts the round off in favor of Team Secret as the spike is down, and now it's a 3v5 on the retake. The utility's there that was required for Vikings to set this up and make it a possibility. And time, it's ticking away. Not too much utility on the Viking side. The tap does come through, but only three members. Saucy, shock darts are going out. 
<gasps> the peek with the Emperor! The oh. dismiss! You have to be kidding! How cheeky to get in there! Make himself on, on his side of the map so that he can get res for half. And look at Dispenser! Okay, it's Wits this time. Oh, the pinch! The Jesse Vash! Quick frags back and forth. The trade we always expect, but there's the res. This was used last round for Secret. So now VKS gets to bolster their crew a little bit more into that site. Everybody's just going to be sitting in the Viper's pit for now as they know Dubstep is behind. This sorts out the squad of Vikings a little bit. A dispenser again from a spot of being a rat. Is able to get a few frags from the top side of the site with the rest of Team Secret doing the flanking. Wits. Doing a damn good job. Okay. Oh, but okay. the response for Vikings. FRZ finds one. They cleaned up the flank. This makes it much more of a possibility here. Dubstep super low. The heal's not there for Dispenser to give him. And now Vikings look to stop the bleeding. And they do right away with a kill on the Dubstep. End us in place. Vikings has learned they're being punished. All oh, the wall forward. We saw this from Fnatic as well. That one place that Vikings realized they were being punished was the flank. They write that wrong. But now is it going to happen again? Do a great job at opening up the first few frags on that round. Guns for both squads. And the Blade Storm is dropped immediately. But GTN had already dropped a weapon for this round. Sutekos has found an incredible oh, timing here in Kitchen. He does just barely miss. Oh, I think Borkum saw his little head. Oh my goodness. He did see his little head. Sodok just barely catches the shoulder of the Sage on the other side. This is still Decent map control for Saucy, but he's got the spike and he's all alone, Riv. Oh, this is gonna get tough here. Ay, ay, ay. Almost ay, a ay, shot ay, just ay, too ay, late as Dispenser goes for the full walking swing to check what's going on in two. Right in the face, Borkum says, I feel like I know what you're gonna do. Takes out Sadak before he even has a chance to see that Borkum was there really. And now up to left. FRZ. So quickly it comes down to one member on the squad of Vikings. Is Team Secret continue to push, continue to read, and just thwart any advantage that Vikings could have. RZ, he's pretty healthy. But he's got to have some incredible shots in 10 seconds out of anything. 10 this seconds is, left. Yeah, this is done. Oof. A nice... Oh. Look, they get out that, safe? that damage! That was just a fade away from GTN. Yep. Borkum, he's gonna get topped off, but man, what a message. Little plink. He feels it. They start to back off. They're like, okay, there's a there's a sheriff over here. Oh. Quick dash forward, dubstep. Never stopping, but FRZ will shut him down in his tracks. Sutekas comes up onto Wits as well, and that's the two duelists down for a retake here, if it can be big. Vikings, oh my word, sheesh indeed. <laughs> and another one, no. Almost coming up huge for FRZ there. FRZ coming up right when the Vikings need him, uh, and that's a cleanup. The obvious better weaponry. Look at GTN, he's so aggressive. That spike call you said getting down to oh my putting God. money in the hands of Team Secret. Is it going to count a little bit more, though? Oh, 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 GTN almost shuts that down. They're all just pushing forward. Viking says, let's figure out how much info we can get out of this round. And they just find a barrel of Team Secret at every turn once they make it out of the Toxic Dream. Sutekos is going to say, okay, fine, yeah. I'll take the orb at least, okay? Let me have this one at least. Sazi's going to do a little bit of damage, but he gets taken out as well. Oh. Orkum says, thank you very much. I'll pop his uh -oh. ultimate. Oh, this is FRZ is going to either have a clip. This is He's going to have to come up huge here. Nobody's peeked his side yet. Oh. No! Almost enough. Five, five, Nobody five. peeked the side. All of Secret staying together in a right side three-man rush. They're going to get the spike down now. Sutekas doesn't find anything from Jenny right away. And now they're going to be worried. Borkum picks up the first one. It's a 5v3. Team Secret, their post is going to be so strong here. Saucy, he's going to have to come up huge. Heroic plays are needed from Vikings here. Three versus five in the post. Wits, he finds GTN. Oh my god, the patience of this round just Player gave standing. Vikings so much false information. They felt secure at A, they rotate, and then Secret takes the sight. Is it enough as Saucy does what he can to add more damage at 3 HP? He needs to leave, trying to prevent anybody else from getting out of the sight. Oh, Dubstep gets on top. The numbers of Team Secret are here as well. Ooh, there's one trade. All right, operators found out. Now they know. 
He lives throughout this, right? He lives throughout uh -oh. this, right? That's one! Uh -oh. Okay, the op stays alive, but FRC goes down. Team Secret has a bit of an advantage here coming back through. Beautiful double tag, possibly a third, but he's gonna be split in the uprights on that one and misses another. Oh my word. Tags of damage on both sides. Operator set back up for GTN just on the top side of the rafter. They know where the op is now. The ultimate comes down. Borkum literally throws himself in there just to ult and help out what Sadak had to do. Or sorry, what Spencer is doing. Yeah, right in the nick of time too because now Dispenser at least has some cover for himself to survive after he gets Ooh, the spike up. down. That's a huge pickup for GTN. Only three members alive in this post. Things are getting toxic in a double ultimate's coming up. Sadak with a huge frag there. Borkum on one HP oh as he's my. just been thrown, drained down. Trying to get the running shots in. I don't think it's going to be enough. Defuse Look starts at, oh to come my. down. Sue take us! Oh my word, they come in! You have to be kidding me. Going up to half. Defuse is in. That's gonna be what <laughs> they needed. So Trojan just yet. Movement from dispenser and the plant goes down. Borkum. He's kind of stuck in no man's land. He's got to be wary of FRZ pushing through a main, but Dubstep finds an opening. And another one. When the off comes out to play, it does indeed. That was the last round for Vikings, but Dubstep says no, like this. Just like this. He takes down three right away to start off that B site, looking to put this game on the edge. Wits with another party, but as it should be, right? He started off in A site. He had to clear all of his mid his entire team has already been wiped out so feels bad for frz certainly and team we have a pretty good idea that the hit is going to be at a team secret they're just going to bide their time okay it looks like dispenser and wits they're sticking to the left side the timing for gtn he gets damaged out 30 seconds left what a peak what a little dart trick there to get the eyes off of the angle frz on dispenser oh another dismiss peak Coming in, this time it doesn't bring as much, and that's going to be FRZ going down. Wits picks up two there as he gets himself back into a safe position. He went all the way around the back side of the site, and now to the front. They didn't expect him in maze. Ten seconds left. Sadak, this timing is going to be everything. Dubstep just barely sees his little show. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, and the